<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the stream of Deathmark. Where, uh, well, before we took our break here, we were starting the investigation, kinda, regarding the spirits of Hanayome. And I think we got some pretty decent information, but... We're not going to get into the depths of the investigation until right now because it looks like we got to find a place where she, where Seiko, which we believe is Hanayome, killed herself and it's back in the forest. Now, because Christy is the one who reported on it, I'm taking her with me. So, let's go ahead and head out. I believe I saved, so back to the forest that we go. I did select Christy, right? I just want to... I think that's what I did. This is more awkward than I thought. Being out alone with someone who, until recently, was planning to kill herself. Do you have something to say? Do you want to say? She noticed right away. Was I being that obvious? No, no, not really. It's fine. You don't have to hide it. You're wondering if I still want to kill myself, aren't you? Is this a woman's intuition? Oh, sorry, I didn't have to think of what women's intuition or what women want in that sense. I think of that Mel Gibson movie back in like, was it late 80, late 90s or early 2000s? That movie was weird. No, maybe I'm just crap at hiding things. Don't worry. I don't anymore. People hate it when things are forced on them, right? doesn't matter what it is. Mm. I can trust you, right? Yes. At least for now. Wait a minute. I think I got... Who said what? I can trust you. That was, that was me who said I can trust you. Yes, at least for now. Here's hoping she keeps feeling the same. At least while we're together. <coughs> oh, oopsie daisy. So sorry about that, guys. Just then, the tire hits a bump in the road. I can see a square, gray object in the back seat through the rearview mirror. Hmm? Is that thing back there yours? No, that's Ita's CD radio cassette player. Huh? Why something like that? He said he might need music during a drive, then went and put it in, in here himself. But we don't have any CDs or tapes. Should I turn on the radio? No, I'll pass. The conversation grinds to a halt after that. It's like there's an invisible person between us. After falling silent a while, Christy finally speaks up again. It only makes sense for the conversation to turn one direction. It's rather worrisome, don't you think? After all this time, they don't know. Who doesn't know what? Those two. They think that spirit just helps you find things. What a naive fairy tale. No, that bee is back! Damn it! <laughs> Go away! You have the legit whole world to fly through, and you're trying to get in my room. Stupid bee. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Christy is exactly right. You quickly become disillusioned once you actually face a spirit. Of thinking about it. Wouldn't that be the best? Christy looks at me in shock. Wait, what are you saying? I just mean, our lives are on the line here. Would you stop joking around? Sorry. She's furious at me, but it looks like she was telling the truth about not wanting to die. She's got too much pride. Someone like that would never commit suicide. What's so funny? Nothing. Will we make it back again? I stare at the headlights and contem con uh, contemplate where we're going. We better make it back again. We still got the rest of the game to go through. We'll be fine. He wants that pharaoh, honey. Be gone! Thought. 
That sigh was pretty deep. I can't believe we're here again. At least I can feel better knowing he's not around anymore. I almost remind her about Hanayome, but I stop myself from opening my mouth. I don't want to break her tenuous claim. Okay, it's supposed to be west of the gate. I look to the west of the gate again, but there's no sign of a trail. Oh, west of the actual gate. I thought they were talking about like west first trail. Ah, uh, strange. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. When I came here researching an article, there was a path to the west. <gasps> Suddenly, Christie's face stiffens. What's wrong? I feel cold all of a sudden. Hmm. What in God's name? Was that a ghost dog? Um. Hmm. All right. I followed their gaze and see a low shadow dashing out from the darkness. A dog? It certainly seems like one. It kicks up the dirt with four legs. But it looks... off somehow. Its fur is long and disheveled. And from certain angles, its face looks human. Dong stares at us, growling softly. As I said, that doesn't look like a, a dog, really. Oh, Justin! Don't you dare make the- oh! Oh god, but it does remind it like me so much. Oh no. Oh, the the Chimera episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Big brother. Oh. I hate that damn episode. So damn much. Wh what is it? Are you trying to tell us something? You're being too gentle with it. You need to found, sound firm when you talk to a dog. Act like it's master. Weaker dogs like to bark, right? So ignore it and stay quiet. So ignore and stay quiet, huh? I guess that, that's true for humans, too. Powerful people tend to ignore others. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. The dog barks loudly, and vanishes into the western underbrush. The moment it's gone, the chill in the air dissipates like it, like it never was there. Was it... trying to guide us? Maybe. I shine a flashlight on a spot where the dog disappeared. A now familiar pain shoots through my wrist. Uh oh. Already? There's probably not much time left. We better hurry. Let's check the bushes over there. Well, let's take a look at the new stuff we got, though. Upon a return to the forest, a strange dog appears and growls at us before disappearing into a western thicket. Christy says the place she checked in the past was also in the west. Still, the dog doesn't look natural. I suppose that's a good sign, since we're chasing after a spirit? But the mark warns that time is short. We have to hurry. It reads, Welcome to the lush and romantic wood timberland. Like before. There's a thicket of trees near next to the gate. With the dog gone, I push my way into the underbrush. I spot the traces of what used to be a path. You can barely call it uh you can barely call it one at this point. There must be this must be the closed hiking trail. The path goes west from the gate. That's right. I remember now. This is the path I took before. That dog. Was it trying to show, show it us to us? Who 
who knows. Anyway, let's get going. Alrighty. Back in the forest we are, although technically it's somewhat of a new area, so... Yes, you, you can only have one... Uh, oh, there's a thing there. You can only have one person with you at a time. Because Mary says, oh, if you have more than one mark bearer with you, it, it attracts the ghost. I'm like, it's going to find us anyway. There's something in the grass in the foot of the tree. It's a lot of paper. Is it a talisman? Well, I push the grass aside and pick it up. Yay! More spear power. And let's head to the left. I'm recording because I don't trust this. Uh, I'm back and I definitely didn't clip anything. What would you? What would have you clipped? Did I? Did I do something scary, or did I get scared? Maybe. Um. Oh, well, there's that thing on the right, the bush, and then obviously the tree. Something's in the grass. I can't see it well from here. Well, go. I feel around in the blades of grass. I got an instant camera. Whoa. I've hit the switch before I realize, and a red light appears. Apparently that means the flash can be used. It must still have battery left. Not that we're going to take any pictures with it. You're right. I turn it off and quickly stuff it in my bag. I decide it's wise to not mention a dried blood that's stuck to the bottom of it. To see... It's a perceived light. Hmm. A distant voice echoes in my head. True. Seeing something means you're seeing the light it's reflecting. But what does that have to do with Hanayome? What, do I take a picture of her to flash on, maybe? That's what I'm getting out of that. Um, in the bushes below the tree, I found a dirty instant camera. The back reads, take a picture, flash included. That voice then whispers to me again, to see is to perceive light. Light. Things that emit light. The camera. I bet Seiko Hasegawa detested that light. So that's the thing, I feel like this item might be used if I was trying to defeat her. Maybe I can weaken her with it, but I don't... I'm, We'll see. Um, also, just learn more about it. It has five uses. And sure enough, I can take a picture from long range. It's a camera with dry blood on the bottom. There's a film in it, and the battery for the flash still has a charge, so it can be used to take photos. If they come out, if they come out, it's questionable. So. I shine a light on the grove of trees in front, of, in front of us and catch a glimpse of something odd. Huh? What is that? Something's posted there? I can't make it out from here. I move forward for a closer look. Oh god. Oh, hold on a minute, guys. Who's calling? No idea. What is this? All thought of my mind ceases. It's as if I'm unable to process what I'm seeing and my brain comes to a halt. Are these photos? There are a bunch of pictures of different people posted to the tree. Did the stream skip for you? Odd. If there's any like weird streaming things, you might have to pause and play the video again, or the stream again. But they're all... All these photos... have nails... in the eyes? It's just as Christy said. For some bizarre reason, each photo has a person of nails driven in through each, both eyes. Attached to the nails is some, some kind of tape. 
cold sweat drips down my neck. What kind of grudge would cause someone to do something like this? Hey, all the people in these pictures, are they all men? Christy's mutters are just loud enough to hear. Huh? I look over the photos again. A good number of them are deteriorated, so they're hard to make out, but they may be right. Yeah, well, it looks like it. All the subjects are men. That's clearly not a coincidence. I feel a little dizzy and step back. Though my blurry through my blurry vision, something flashes in the light from the flashlight. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just over there. Something sparkled up there. Something might be up there. We should check it out. Something up in the branches of the tree is reflecting light. Something must be stuck in the branches. The only way we'll be able to check it out is to climb up the trunk. Are you thinking about climbing a tree? There aren't any cavity, uh, cavities, knots, or branches within reach. It'll be hard to climb up it, so... Well, I hope this doesn't matter. I know Ita's big self probably won't be able to do it. The only way it's going to work, I think, is I boost the partner up. Now, the thing is, am I able to do so with Christy, though? Let's try. Um, this is between us, but I weigh... She whispers in my ear. Okay, that's off the table. Wow. Wow. Uh. Oh, man. That's, um... I don't even know how to put that. Oh, crap. Hold on really quick, guys. Um... the update. Why can't you just tell me now? Oh, that's gonna be stupid. Um. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I guess it looks like it looks like I have to come back here with, um, Suzu. You can't do that, game. It's, <laughs> it's this year. Yeah, we'll forget about it for now. I'll give up and back away. So, we need Suzu. Because there's no way in hell it doesn't work. Now, what I'm... Th Here's what I'm thinking, though. Do I want to go back now and get her? Or should I keep investigating? Because uh, we still haven't really seen... Well, no. Do I really need Christy anymore? Kind of thinking we don't. Stop there. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going I'm to grab Suzu now. I really hope I don't need Christy anything else for anything else. If I do, then whoops. And because I'm here... Maybe the guy's just really weak. I mean, he is a very... He has a very slender frame. I mean, look at him. I mean, he could be weak. I mean, he has 10 power. Oh, wow. Look at her spirit power. It's, like, really high. Still don't know the damn point of these freaking stats, but... Whatever. Gotta lose some boob weight. I mean, seriously, though. She's probably not that heavy. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, I feel like he can do it, but... The game's like, nah, 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 fam. Ain't gonna work. Something up in the branches of the trees reflecting light. Okay. 
You're gonna climb the tree? There aren't any cavities, blah blah blah, so boost my partner up. If that's all then, okay, I'll try. I squat the base of the tree and let her climb up on me. Up you go! I stagger a bit, but manage to stand. I feel like I'm one of the trees now. Can you reach? Just a little to the right. I'm almost there. Eek. Susan reaches as far as she can with her hand and I lose my balance. We both crash to the ground. Game over. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm here. Susie shows me her hands. It's holding the object that... But... Howl's Heart, thank you so much for the follow. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream. It's holding the object that was stuck in the branches. I got a dog collar. Oh, boy. A collar? It makes me think of that dog we saw before coming here. Does this belong to that dog? I wonder who threw it away. Who knows? As I'm putting it away in my bag, I spot an inscription on the inside of the collar. R Renta? Or what the hell is that first letter? I wish you came here when it started, Pharaoh. No problem at all, Howell. Um, we, we've been going about this for a little while, but that's okay. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know how to, I, I guess, Renta or something like that. How are you supposed to pronounce that? Hmm. So, we got a new memo. Keep this fresh. In the west side of the forest, they found a tree in strange photos uh, of men. And they all have large nails driven deep into their, into their eyes. They're likely all dead. Is it some kind of warning that men will be killed? I spot something that, uh, when I look up into the tree. It's hard to get down, but it turns out to be a dog collar. Does it belong to the dog we saw at the entrance? Uh, let's see. Wait, is that Russian? Uh, or is that a spoiler if you tell me what it, what it says right here? The Oracle of uh, Seiko we found in the garage said a body of her pet dog was found in the forest. Was it killed chasing after the culprits? It says she even brought it on her trip to Greece when her fiancé arrived before she was abducted. It looks like the dog's name is on the collar, but how do you pronounce that? It doesn't even look English. I, like, they have symbols on the... in between, or like, you know, on each end of it, too. In the bushes below the tree, I found a dire... A di no, I saw this already. Kind of interesting, a dog collar. Hmm. Well, it's unmistakably Cyrillic, Cyrillic to me. Well, we found that. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. That first letter looks like Russian. I think it's Greek. Oh, well, they did go to Greece. But she said they took it to Greece. Ah, well, it, well no, yeah, they, it could be the dog collar they got from Greece, and it's just the dog's name in Greek. So, maybe that's that. Okay, let's continue going down this path, see what we, we have here. Uh-oh. I hear a low growl from somewhere. I can't see what's making it, but it seems to be watching me. Oh, we did see that dog at the gate. I'm not sure why, but I feel an intense hostility directed toward me. What should we do? Or what should we do? The instant Suzo speaks. The growling grows distinctly, distinctly quieter. I remember the photos. All of them were men with nails in their eyes. I don't know what they what has to do with the dog. But those pictures demonstrate the hatred that st uh, saturates this place. Saturates this place. 
If I'm with Suzo, it might react differently. Hmm. Like, there are my options. Well, I, I do think it's good that I brought Suzo with me. Because, one, she's very good at the animals. And, I mean, we're, I don't think we're dumb here. That dog, I, I'm, I'm assuming, is a manifestation or could be the spirit of, of Seiko's dog. And of, it hates men because the men, I'm assuming the men of the pictures with nails driven into their eyes, those are the men who assaulted or sexually assaulted Seiko. So that's, 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 what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So I think now that I have Suzu with me, I think showing a collar would, be a, would not be a problem. I've got an idea. I take the collar out of my bag. Maybe. It's a safe bet that the spirit was born here, so the dog is likely tied to this collar. I face the general area the barking is coming from and show it the collar. The dog appears like a gust of wind. Whoa! Before I can blink, it steals the collar from me. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta act like it's master. When I try to quickly uh, jump away, I hear Suzu calling out to me. Mr. Yashiki, don't move! But I don't catch the rest of it. The dog rushes at me so fast it looks like it's gliding over the ground. Don't move! Don't kick it! Stand still! You're the master! You know what you're doing! The dog stops in his tracks. He seems confused that I'm not reacting and just standing still. He shuffles back on his guard and prepares to attack again. It bears its teeth and growls. Uh, what do I got? Uh, wait. Sorry. I, I know. I'm, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I just wanted more time there. So I'm, I'm trying to think back to what... Um. Oh, what the hell? I'm trying to think back to what uh. Christy said. She said, "Yeah, stand up to it, be its master." But I think she said to ignore it. So I, I don't think yelling threateningly is gonna do anything. So I'm think I was thinking anyway. Turn my back. I hope that's it. You know what? I deserve... I deserve that. <laughs> wow, the game keeps going when I have it suspended like that. I think that's the first time I've seen a game do that. Because I think I used the same trick in Danganronpa. If I needed more time, I would suspend the game like that and the time would stand still. They're like, screw you, you don't get to do that. I'm killing you anyway. Wow. Okay, I deserve that. Alright, at least we know now. So we gotta do all this again. Okay. I see you, game. So I stand still. I, get, I think I'm gonna turn, turn, turn my back to it. I mean, I'm ignoring it that way. So. I break my gaze and turn my back to it. I pretend to not hear it threatening me. It growls for a while, but until it abruptly stops. Okay, good, good. The dog holds the collar in its mouth and stares at me. That collar has an inscription on it, doesn't it? I'm sure it said... That. What should I call it? Oh, jeez. How, how am I supposed to figure this one out? Just because in chat you guys thought it was a G. Genta. Muttered a name. The dog perks his ears. I say it again, this time more clearly. Then. Okay. 
So, okay, the only reason why I knew that... Oh, damn, was my uh, cover on the microphone this entire time? Whoopsie-daisy. So, okay, hold on really quick. How the fudge was I supposed to know that was a G? I mean, if it wasn't for Svitten telling me I think that's a G, how the hell was I supposed to know that? Like, unless the game is expecting me to know Russian or to, or to know that language. Is this another BS thing, or was I supposed to figure it out somehow through the game? Or Greek. I'm sorry, Greek. I mean, I know the game mentioned, okay, they went to Greece, but I don't know. Like, I see what they're going with it, but I still feel it's, it's, it's still BS in my opinion. The dog turns around, quietly slinks into the brush. Maybe Mary knew? You know, Dawn, that might be that might be what I what I had to do. I don't know if she I don't know if she would do anything if I if I talked to her. Maybe. It disappears from sight. Seems I somehow managed to escape death. Yay! I survived. I pick up the collar that I was left behind and sighed deeply. Are you okay? Yeah, that was a uh, I can't even say it was no big deal. My words simply trail off. That's all I can answer with, though. I pat myself down with my hands, but I don't seem to be injured anywhere. I did feel teeth biting into my hand when the collar was snatched from me, though. That dog may be supernatural. Oh, really? I hope it doesn't attack again. I think we'll be fine. It found what it was looking for. You're right. So I don't have to do that BS over again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think. Still got decent spirit power. Um, let's keep. Oh shoot, I didn't investigate. Okay. Um. Wait, those aren't even people. Those are mannequins, yeah? A sound like a rope creaks above my head. Hmm? Silhouettes have swung in the shadow of the trees. My whole body shudders with dread. Are those people? Suzu gives a terrified yelp. Speechless, I shine my flashlight on them. They clearly aren't people. They're mannequins. Okay. Oh, there's no way to go back to the mansion with the collar without having that encounter. See, okay then. So, unless you unless you didn't have the for, like you know a knowledge of the Greek language before you encountered that, you would have been screwed. I know they mentioned Greece, but you gotta put a bunch of things together. Like, oh, they even took the dog to Greece. That means that it must have they must have gotten that collar from Greece, and it's just a dog's name in Greek. I I, I don't know. The things hanging by their necks from the trees are dis are display mannequins you can find in any department store. Moon logic, yeah, moon logic is not. Ugh. There's moon logic, and then if you guys, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, the infamous goat puzzle. And, it, and I believe it's, a, it's an actual conundrum, like the goat paradox or whatever. But there, I don't know if you guys ever played this, uh, it's a series of point-and-click games called Broken Sword. It's actually really good. I, I played the first one and, like, half of the second, whatever reason. Um, but there's five games in it right now. And... It's a pretty classic series, but in the first game, there's a very infamous puzzle involving a goat that stumped so many people, and I think you had to call in to the developers, whatever, to eventually, you know, because people are getting so frustrated, 
But to figure out what you had to do there was so stupid. And, you know, just a lot of games are like that. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of point clicks. I know they're trying to be unique and all that, but, man. It's a weird trail of logic that's hard for a regular person to assume, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I understand the game gives you the hints or giving you the information, but... I just don't know if it was used properly. And that was a gamma, a.k.a. G. Okay. A weird puzzle involving a goat. I thought you I thought you would have mentioned King's Quest series, which are filled with infamous puzzles. Oh, true, but I, I'm, I'm not... Now, personally, I've not played any of the King's Quest games. I know, Blasphemous. But uh, I know they're full of weird-as-hell puzzles, as too. Uh, too. <sighs> Obviously, dolls can't commit suicide. Is this someone's idea of a prank? Or maybe a warning to intruders? The only one who knows the truth will be whoever did this. Let's go. I don't think they're dangerous. They're only mannequins. Oh, okay. Suzu replies uneasily. But before the, either of us can take a step forward, I feel a shaky hand gripping at, onto me. What does that mean? Oh, you, you mean her? Like Suzu gripping onto me? A doll is uh, mercilessly hanging by its neck. It has something in its left hand. Grabbing onto it to stop it from swaying, I open the hand and take what's inside. A talisman! Nice. A male doll is hanging from a tree. I wonder what the person who did this was thinking. The dolls swing un unceasingly, unceasingly from their ropes, even though there's no breeze. Alright. I think that's it. So I'm going to record once again. Yeah, I mean, I figured it was Suzu, but I was like, ah, uh, I mean, I, like, she's scared. I get it. I feel bad I took her along now, but it's like, every, like the other two would have been useless with me. Uh, I'm sorry, Joe. And yes, I mean this. This is are, these are still very heavy topics. Moving even even those are mannequins. That's still a very hard topic. Um, it's it's that dog. Suzu, be careful. No, it's okay now. It won't attack anymore. It's that dog from before. It starts digging in the dirt right in front of me. Hmm? After a few moments, it disappears like mist. Odd. What was it doing? Is there something over there? Let's take a look. Before we do that... Okay. It's that place where a dog was digging. Digging. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, the dirt there appears to be a different color. I reach out and touch the dirt, but the texture under my hand surprises me. Hmm? The dirt around here is soft. Almost as if something was buried. Give me a hand. You're gonna dig here? I don't think we'll need any tools. Please. O okay. No, see, I'm, yeah, join. There's no need to worry. I wasn't able to find this. I wasn't. The thing is, I was able to find all the objects so far in the investigations normally, like looking around and like shining my light. I was able to find everything. The plant root in the last, uh, the last chapter. That was stupid because it was expecting me to go to a place I already wasn't, I already investigated. So that's what pissed me off there. And I think the first game, that the first chapter what pissed me off about that one was I had to, I had to look at it again, feel it, and then look at it again to know I had to use the pen. To me, that was stupid. But this, 
it was right this was all in front of me and it's like that's what should be done in silence we kneel in this forest in the middle of the night and dig up the dirt in, with our hands I feel like I'm robbing a grave it could be that those words popped into my head because I, I somehow knew what we'd find distracted I looked down at what we dug up What we find is a corpse. It's just a skeleton now, but it doesn't look that old. Is that a corpse? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, bugs are nasty. Our reply sounds incredibly flat and uncaring, even to me. At some point, death has become familiar. That fact, and not the corpse, is what sends a shiver down my spine. I'm too comfortable from, with the world of the dead. I know this, but I can't escape it. One part of me observes the remains before, before us and reacts calmly. Just then, I notice something. What's that? Your dragon's trying to eat the screen again? Your, your, the, your dragon is smart. <laughs> oh good, showing corpses to kids. <laughs> There's something white in the skeleton's hand. I dig it out and discover it's a plastic bag. Inside are a number of cassette tapes and some kind of note. Oh, we gotta go back to the car. The note's deteriorated, but parts of it are, Ill are, are legible. I killed them all. Ones assault you. Now you... Rest in peace. I... What needed to be done... Now I... Die here. This forest... You passed away. New... Song... Wants... Listen... Heaven. The note ends there. I got three... Cas three cassette tapes... That sounds like a suicide note, doesn't it? But these tapes... But these tapes... She looks at the cassette tapes. Why were they buried too? They look at the remains as if asking them the question. Of course it's not going to reply. I don't know... I trail off. A different voice is whispering in my mind. The last. The voice falls silent. The last? Wait a second. The last what? Huh? Is something the matter? I didn't say anything. It's nothing. Sorry, just talking to myself. Anyway, let's take these tapes with us. Okay. So, I think we can easily say what happened there. That is Psych Psych Seiko's fiance. Because remember here? Uh no, not there. Not there. Where was it? There we go. To Seiko, I'll dispel all your heartache. It's basically a note from the fiance to Seiko, hey, I'm going to find and kill those bastards who assaulted you and caused you to kill yourself. So that's him. That was his suicide note. And yeah, there's that. Um, I find a skeleton buried in the ground with a worn suicide note and a cassette tape. Cassette tapes. Strangely enough, the contents of the note match up with the rumors of the fiance's death and what was in the other note. This is just a guess, but if I'm right, the songs and those tapes probably contain his thoughts and feelings. If the corpse is her fiancé, then the tapes may, be, may have songs he made, or ones that are meaningful to them. So then what was the whisper of the last trying to tell me? Did he want his fiancé to hear the last song? The, guy, the dog that guided us is definitely the, is from the ruined, for, ruined form of their beloved pet. If I can manage to connect all these things together, I, then when I face Hana, Hanayome... I think I got it. 
And here are the songs that we have. Charm Song. An old cassette tape found buried with a corpse in a, in a forest. It had been wrapped in a plastic bag, so it's in good shape and should be playable. The words Charm Song can be read on the smudge label. Uh, an old cassette tape buried... Blah, 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 blah. The words Echo Ballad can be read on the smudge label. And then... This one's called My. So... Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to be using one of these songs against Hana, Hana Yome. I don't... See, things. if we're trying to avoid things with my or I, then I don't think I want to use my. Now, echo, echo... Ballad, charm, song. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. Okay. So, we did what we need to do there. Let me just double check I didn't miss anything. But yeah. The, and this is the last what. So, that could mean many things. Oh, crap. Let me go ahead and record again. But, I, I know Joanna, you told me this is where... Um, the fight's easy because it's easy to figure out. So never mind. Like I said, you guys know how I, I, I tend to think. I, I, I think a lot about this stuff. It's like, wait, if I do this, I do that, I do this. So, uh oh, the mark burns scarlet. Half an hour. God, out of nowhere, my mark flares up painfully. The intense pulsing sets my nerves on fire. Shit. Are we out of time? I bite my lip and look at Suzu. Suzu. Suzu! Hey, can you hear me? Mm. Yeah. The third spirit. It's finally here. It all starts now. I grab Suzu and run. The spirit is closing in on us. I don't think I ever noticed you can see his reflection in the rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Huh. Did I get in the car to go somewhere? Regardless, I'm here, in, I'm here inside it, gripping the wheel. The mansion. I need to go back there for now. I glance through the rear view mirror at Suzu in the back seat. Suzu is staring vacantly out the window with a slightly tilted head. The only thing out there is darkness. There's nothing to look at. Ita's tape player is laying on, on the side in the passenger seat. I grabbed it from the back, meaning to play one of those tapes. We quickly arrive at the Kujo Mansion. Even if I discuss it with Mary, it's probably best to listen to a tape first. I reach for one, but as soon as I do, I notice something odd. Where... Are we? I'm on an unfamiliar road. Like, I took a wrong turn somewhere. No, no, it's not unfamiliar. I've clearly been down this road before. But the route I was taking should have had no way for me to come across this road. That's the only way I can describe it. It's impossible. Oh, damn. Oh. oh, Trey, what's up, man? How you been? I think I saw on Twitter you got back from vacation, dude. I hope that, uh, I hope everything went well. You enjoyed your vacation all that. How's everything been on your end, buddy? Calm down. I must have made a mistake before I was messing around with the tape player. I wouldn't get lost on my way to the mansion. I've been, I've been to it so many times now. I just missed the first intersection and ended up somewhere strange, that's all. That's what I tell myself as I make a U-turn. Not bad, you feeling well rested? How about you? Not bad, dude. I'm, I'm doing my thing. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, streaming. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a job hunt again. So, I mean, that's why I'm streaming kind of in the middle of the day nowadays. But besides that, yeah, just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And how's the game? Pretty good. Uh, there's some definite bullshit moments in it. In a sense, like, mechanic-wise. Story is really good. But, um, no, the game's, the game's pretty fun. If you're looking for, like, a good horror visual novel, I recommend it. Uh, it seems weird. The price never really wants to go down on the game, though. I got it, thankfully, $20 used, but you want to buy a brand new, it's still like 40 or 50 bucks. It's weird. But no matter how many times I go back... Damn it. Why am I here again? No matter how I turn, I end up on the same road. Right, left, or keep going straight, I still return to the exact same place. This is ridiculous. I hit the steering wheel. Because that's going to do something, apparently. Maybe it was because of my outburst, but my mark starts burning with pain again. This is bad. Really bad. At this rate, death will catch up to us while we're here in the car. Having said that, we can't go back to the mansion. I don't think we'll be able to get out of this maze no matter how many times I try. In that case, what should I do? Or should I drive? Hmm. So, yeah, I can, I can see a lot of people can get confused here. Like, now, this goes back to where it said, to the last. And say, so, what the hell does it mean, to the last? Um, see, I would have picked the highway because that was, that was where she was last seen. But she was abducted into T-Mountain, so I guess that's what the last means there. Yeah, dude, it definitely is neat. You, you have any games you're planning on streaming uh, when you, uh, now that you're back uh, from your from your trip? You have anything uh, lined up, I should say? Story's the only thing that's sticking with me. Gameplay has been the scariest thing to me so far. I turned the steering wheel in the direction of a place that popped into my head. T-Mountain. It's not that I have to go there. Destination isn't important so long as it gets me to the, out of the situation. I hit the gas pedal and abruptly turned the wheel, trying to get out of this cursed trap. Finally. Fam familiar scenery returns, as if it was just laying in wait for me. Untitled Goose Game has been calling your name. I'm so excited to finally play it, then getting back to Link's Awakening. It's my first time playing any version of that game. so good. Dude, yes, I stream both, actually, and they're both amazing games. Uh, Goose Game, it's exactly what you think it is, and you're going to love it, dude. You're for sure going to love it. Your viewers are going to love it, too. We are game twins, and it scares the living shit out of me sometimes, dude. Uh, the, game, the games you play, I play, and like a lot of times, like, and that's why it's hard for me. Like, I want to see your streams, but either I'm busy or you're playing a game that I want to play, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um it's funny but yeah someone made a pile of every item in the game of goose game of course they did we're with each other in heart yeah oh there you yes that's perfect in the end we're back here oh shoot the phone's ringing I know exactly who's calling. The mark has died to deep crimson. We're, we're screwed. We got a fight coming up. I head to the phone booth. I got I got Ita's radio cassette player in a bag holding Seiko's memories. Or Seiko's memories at the ready. Am I going to fight her in the damn booth? I pick up the receiver. But the phone immediately goes dead. Uh oh. Am I fighting her here? Yeah. That, fuck all that noise. Um. So. This 
Ooh. Ow. So what about you? What other games have your attention at the moment? Um, well, I'm just playing scary games throughout October. Um, I'm, I'm gonna play the sequel to this game, and it's coming out tomorrow. It's called NG. Probably gonna start, start that next week. <coughs> and then I'm probably gonna go through the Lu Luigi's Mansion series. And I'm, I probably want to pick up three when it comes out later, later at the end of this month. And then next month, freaking Death Stranding and um, Pokemon Sword, more than likely. And then next year, dear God, there's, um, there's Last of Us Part Two, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Cyberpunk 2077, all within each, like, one month of each other, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is creepy looking, but I, I can still handle it, but it's kind of creepy still. But this is the promotional art of the game. This was in the manual of the game. So. Uh, so that's what she was eating. Yeah, seriously, it's like, ew. That is kind of disgusting now. You're so excited for uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. The first one was, on, was one of my faves. Yes, same here. Team Sword because Game Twins. There you go, man. There you go. You saw it, didn't you? I know you saw it. No, you know I didn't. Take a picture. You don't like Flash. I quickly grabbed the instant camera and used the Flash. Yeah, but you don't like that, now do you? The spirit shrieks, and while it's distracted, I tumble out of the booth. Yay. Once out, I spot I spot out a corner of my eye. Ugh. Wait, what the hell is that around her? What's all that around me? It's like I got like eye floaters. The spirit's standing there looking down at me. The camera's battery is dead. What should I do next? Oh crap! Um, is dead? Uh, I don't know which one to play. Ah, oh, shoot! I don't know that one. I don't want to say my. I, I probably got this one wrong. It probably was my though, wasn't it? Because I know she doesn't like anything about my, I, charm, echo, whatever. I stick Charm Song into the tape player and press the play button. Listened often, dear. You listen. Okay. The spirit res responds to the song. She's getting closer to my ass, though. The spirit quietly drifts closer. What should I do next? Play Echo Ballad? I stick Echo Ballad into the tape player and press the play button. Ah, it has I. I love. Uh, the spirit response to the song. I don't know. You're getting too close to me. The spirit qu uh, quietly drifts closer. What should I do next? I don't want to play my, but maybe is that what I'm supposed to do? play all three? There are from her fiance. Ah, oh, screw it! Why the hell not? If I mess it up, I mess it up. I stick my into the tape player and press the play button. Yep, I screwed up. Same thing. It's because it said my. Oh well. Spirit responds to the song. She says she didn't know this one. What the hell? Okay, it's creepy. The mouth is creepy looking, but her face is derpy looking. Look at that. It looks like uh, uh, somebody... Uh, something I would draw when I was five years old, If I, because I can't draw heads properly. I... I don't know. This is, that's a weird one. It's goofy looking. The eye thing, like, it was creepier with the veil. If she had, 
if she had the veil and just show the mouth, that's a lot creepier. This, yeah, I don't know. The spirit's right in front of me. Hey, let me listen. Um, to the newest. The newest? So you never heard? Okay, oh god, I hope I get this right. Here. That's why people don't want to look at her. I just thought she didn't want to look at her, look at her because of the pictures and like what she went through. But I guess it does make sense. Yes, that song was finished. Oh, a dog comes bounding over from somewhere, barking happily. Gen, Jen, is this where you've been? Come on, let's go. He's waiting. Oh. Okay. That was it? See, it's, it is idiot proof because even I can do it. What? Oh, but at the same time, I was expecting a lot more. Huh. They, because the thing is, they really, really built up this character because it's on the promotional art. It's in the manual. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, yeah, Louisa, I'm sorry. I, I think, uh, I think if you saw the other two ghosts, that maybe uh, you would have better idea uh, of what to expect, especially from these fights. But we did it. Now, here's a question. Can I still mess this up and she can be destroyed? Or is she going to kill me and she'll always be pacified and I don't have to worry? Hmm. Holy smoke, she's a toon! <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mean to make fun of the way she looks. It's just, I mean, I... I I made fun of her rel relentlessly. I'm sorry, but it's like we think a bit, thinking back to what she went through. Like, of course, that's sad. I think I was expecting something more horrific. So, she should have been a chapter one boss. I and I agree with you, twin, for sure. There's a flash of light. I blink, and the spirit is gone. I survived. So yeah, not no, no no battle. That one was all just decision making, life or life or death. So what's so what's with that bad ending where Susie was gone with just her eyes are left? Oh jeez. You're everything rip cloth and such. See, yeah, like, yeah. Well, okay. Well, it's all right. I don't sense Hanayome anymore. She's gone now. Hanayomi. Suzu's back to normal. I bet their mark's gone. My shit's still there. But mine's still bright on my arm. I guess Hanayomi didn't give me my mark after all. That sounds like a heck of an ending. Yeah, the thing is, like, you can you can defeat the... You can kill the ghost, in a sense, the wrong way, and then your partner will die. But you can get a good ending by by making all your team members live. So, um, there's that. No, no, the game is, like, the story is still good, Joanna. I'm still making fun of, like, aspects of it, but I'm still intrigued about the story. That That's what's getting, that's what, what's getting me going. I think, I think I was expecting something more out of the reveal there. But yes, we all enjoy what we want to enjoy, of course. There's no, don't, don't, don't ever feel in, insecure. Not, not, especially not around us. We all enjoy what we want to enjoy, you know? Ah. Oh. Then Hanayomi really was Seiko Hasegawa. If I chose the wrong choice on the road, ah, then we'll give me the bad ending. Okay. Which we'll check at the end of the stream. 
What a sad, terrible fate. Turning into a ghost after she died. I feel sorry for her. This place isn't too far from where Seiko died. Maybe that's why... The instant Hanayomi vanished, I thought I caught a glimpse of her loyal dog. I hope her dog and the song her fiancé wrote from, uh, for her help her... For her help... Help her... Damn it. Let me, let me read that again. I hope her dog and the song her fiancé wrote for her help her be at peace in heaven. Should we head back? Yeah. Huh? The phone starts ringing out of nowhere. It won't stop. It's like it's waiting for someone to answer. What should I do? I'm done, yeah? I mean, it's no harm. On the other end of the line is the gentle voice of a woman. I'm so very c sorry for causing you so much trouble. Please excuse me. Aww. That was Seiko. Was that a wrong number or something? I was a little panicked, but now I relax. <laughs> I step out of the booth and get into the car with Suzo. It takes a lot for me. It, it takes a lot for me to out and hate a game. I still play Fallout seventy six sometimes. For God's sake, no, I don't. I never. I never. I don't hate this game at all. I'm so glad I'm playing it. I was just expecting more in terms of the mechanics of like investigating and all investigating and all that. But the story is still very good to me. Like I want. I want to keep playing and find out more. Welcome back, Mr. Yoshiki. It's thanks to you that my mark is finally gone. Uh, too bad I didn't get to do much. I've read a ton of comics about exorcism, so I thought I could help. Good job to you too, Suzo. Everything went okay? Yeah, it's all thanks to him. Oh, yeah? I bet I could have done a better job than him. Dude, why are you trying... You know... Mm -mm. I waited your return, Lord Yashiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations. Though it is unfortunate that your mark has not yet vanished. I managed to defeat three spirits now, but my mark still has not disappeared. It feels like that terrible f uh, fact might just freeze the blood in my veins. Yeah, seriously, you're right, Pixel. Um, can you climb a tree? Oh, do, can I boost you up? I don't know, man. If I can't, if I can't lift Christy, there's no way in hell I can lift your ass up. But I vow the fight against the mark. All I can do now is press forward. Mr. Yoshiki, may I have a word? I looked through the aisle, other files in the garage after you left. And I found this. Why are, why are you trying to impress a child? Because he can't impress an adult. God, it which is... Oh my god. Jeez. It's a very good point. It's just a sad point. She hands over a file that says H Shrine Findings on the cover. It occurs to you you can't you can't lift Christy because she's all muscle. Oh well, yeah, I mean she's she doesn't look fat at all. But if she's built or you know, maybe yeah, that, that could make her a little heavier. Sayakujo's signature is in the corner. The Kujo family's guardians were housed there, so it makes sense that th uh, this was here. And what what did they say it was again? The, the eight shrine findings. Okay. Go on. Read it. Most of it is about how eight shrine was built on, and its history. It lines up with what Mary told us. Everything that happened from the anti-Buddhist movement to, not, uh, to now is in here. But it looks like even Saya didn't know who stole the statues 50 years ago. Some pages are about eight shrines of Goshintai. The item that houses a deity spirit. 
This shrine has two. A mirror and a small Buddha statue called Nenjubutsu. Nenjubutsu? The Nenjubutsu should be in a brocade pouch? But I never saw anything like that in a shrine. I somehow... I wonder where it ended up. The last few pages contain notes on investigations of stolen statues. It mentions a rumor that started circulating a few months ago. Hmm. K. Miyamachi, Miyamaki Ro North Road in H City. The back street that, due to the city's poor planning, is covered in manholes. That's stupid as hell. I mean, I mean, yep. There you go. City planning screwed up, and now you got a zillion manholes in one street. <laughs> okay. Because of that, people call it Manhole Road. On a moonless night, a young woman was walking down on her way home from work. An old sign said, Be wary of strangers. Suddenly fearful, she attempted to hurry her steps down that dimly lit back street. But she couldn't take a step forward. A noise. Something heavy being dragged. And then a figure was uh, was discernible from out of the dis uh, from out of the darkness. It was a woman with disheveled hair, wearing a burnt white robe. She cradled a headless Buddha statue as if it were her own child. The shadows and hair hid most of her face, but she could see her blood red lips twisted into a satisfied smile. Terrified by the eerie sight, she turned on her heel and ran away. Some distance away, she turned to look back. But the woman was gone. The statues were stolen 50 years ago, so it wasn't that woman, but... I doubt it's that easy to find Hela's Buddha statues. I'm sure she must know something. I asked Hanayome where the, statu where the statues stolen from H Shrine were, and now there's an unexpected lead. What a strange coincidence. If you can find those stolen statues and honor them at H Shrine, the Divine Wrath will be quelled and you might be freed from the mark. Another way that might be possibly allow me to escape my mark. It's worth looking into at least. Oh, before I forget, you should take these too. Documents on, on the Hasaga, uh, Hasagawa case that we found after you left. Read through them if you want. Hmm. It's almost dawn. We, oh, it's almost dawn. We must end today's investigation. Please rest. We will. Thank you very much, mister. Because of you, I think I'll get to see my dad, too. You need to go somewhere to see him? My mom and dad got divorced. Oh, I was one. I was wondering. They didn't say what she was. <gasps> excuse me. What she was looking for. Um. So it looks like she was looking for her father. Oh. Yeah. Mom decided that she wanted to become a nun. She started taking me to temples in a lot of sacred areas. Dad didn't like that, and he started seeing some other lady. Oh well, your dad's a dick then. I have no sympathy for him. I understand. You don't have to say anymore. I guess susu has been embroiled in the world of adults for a while already. Maybe that's why she's so brave while being so young. I asked Mom to tell me where Dad is, but she wouldn't say. She told me he's bewitched by a demon to forget him. So that's why I want to ask Hanayomi where Dad is. I see. I hope you get to see him. Me too. Okay, good night. I'm really in your debt. It's thanks to you that Suzu was saved. Thanks so much. He seems more worried about her than himself. His appearance, personality, and job all make him suspicious, but that one thing is clear. I know she asked me to, but I was the one who brought her out there after all. So if something else, something had happened to her, I... I just... <laughs> Ugh, don't do that. <sighs> hey, are you alright? 
I'm so glad she's okay. <laughs> the hot tears streaming down his face are those of relief, apparently. You should head to bed for today. I'm sure you're tired, right? Yeah. Thanks. Good night. <laughs> I'm gonna need to bed soon myself. My mark's finally gone. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. There's no reason for you to stay any longer. You're right about that. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Sorry, but even nine lives wouldn't be enough to survive staying here. You said it. But I'm grateful for all this too. It gave me time to rethink my life. Ironic, isn't it? If I hadn't been cursed by a spirit, it, I'd be in that forest right now, too. Christy's smile turns wry. Well, I'm off the bed now. Good night. Now then, Lord Yashiki, please find me when you're ready. Farewell. He's a good egg, yeah, but... Creepy, still. Ah. Uh. It looks like he's possessed, yeah. So, let's just take a look what I still... No, not that. Um, file, here we go. So, uh... Here we go. It might have all started with the lingering grudge caused by that tragic event. Hanayomi was likely Seiko uh, Hasegawa. She became a spirit obsessed with eyes, the imitation uh, of her fiancé's revenge. Their dog turned into that thing in an effort to save them. The info I got from the fellow Mark Bearer points to all that as well. Her fiancé was a musician known as YMN back then. He made a name for himself by cross-mixing genres into his music, from rock and pop to classical and techno. That's pretty cool. Uh, around the time of the incident, he had been working on a new album. The last song out of it was My Holy, and dedicated to his fiancé. But in the end, the album was published without that final track. The song and her fiancé's love finally reached Psycho, Seiko. I keep wanting to say Psycho. I like to think it's because of us and G Genta or Genta. I hope their tragic tale has finally come to a close. But some things still don't add up. How did Hanayome suddenly get the power to bestow the mark? The answer might lie with, with a Buddha statue stolen from H Shrine. And then we have the files in the garage mention that Buddha statues were stolen from H Shrine 50 years ago, right during a period of chaos following the end of the war. Is there a connection? What's more, a year-old interview says someone witnessed a woman in white carrying a headless Buddha statue on a street called Manhole Road. Maybe I should look into that next. Uh, okay. So once we once we get a, a time to um, save again, I'll call the stream then. Are you retiring the bed? I do. Good night. And so we solved the case of Hanayome. I, it was a good story. I wish there was more, though. Because it was a very simple chapter, in a sense. And it did kind of go by pretty quickly. There wasn't much investigating there. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining, per se. But, um, yeah. Don't you hate it when your sinuses are blocked? Ugh, yeah, I had that like happen like a week or two weeks ago. It's been three days since Hana Yome. All the other mark bearers left the mansion. I'm the only one here now. I wonder when I'll be free of this mark. When can I leave this place? Oh, we never cleaned up that blood? Jeez, am I, am I in this room? Do I feel comfortable sleeping in this room? Jeez. <sighs> There's not even a scrap of meaningful information around. I looked around Sayakuja's bedroom to try and find something Mary mentioned. I mean, it's impolite to rummage through a woman's things, but I don't have the luxury not to do it. To not do it? You mean you weren't doing it now or since? I would have been looking all around, man. I searched every inch of the room, even under the carpet, but... I came up empty. Seeing the dry blood on the floor reminds me of of that horrifying sight I saw. Uh see exactly but what happened to her though? Is is that is that what happens when we let the mark get us? 
Like I'm confused how like what happens if we just let it go. But maybe that is what happens. We just start blooming. I don't want to die like that. That sole reason has been my driving force to, in my struggle to survive that day, to since that day. But how long can I keep this up? That thought fills me with such dread that it feels like my legs would, could give out. After searching everywhere I can, I leave the bedroom. The deserted entrance hall feels colder than usual. Thinking on it, it's already been over a week since I first came here. I've gotten completely used to this strange mansion. It's not really something I want to admit. How do you do, Lord Yashiki? Mary gives me her usual greeting in her monotone voice. She's still a complete mystery. Though I can't say I'm not grateful to have someone to talk to now that everyone's gone. Does that mean that you're a late bloomer? Uh... Did you locate the master key? No, I didn't. I see. I'm sure it would be there. So wait, why did you tell me now about a master key? You know, or whatever. Or maybe she did tell us that we've been looking for the master key. Whatever. I searched every ac accessible inch of the mansion and found no info or va of value. All that's left is a locked room. I'm trying to find the Kujo Mansion master key so I can open it. Mary said she thought it might be in Sayakujo's bedroom, but it clearly was a bust. It is obvious I should. It is obvious I should have sp spoken to Lady Saya before she died. All right. Crap. Hold on, really quick, guys. I'm sorry. Um, Benji's barking. I just want to see what's up. Sorry about that. <sighs> Why am I only now starting to think about Resident Evil? Oh yeah, because like, when I first, first like the first the time we even got here, I'm like, well, this looks like the Spencer Mansion. I deeply apologize. Her voice carries a hint of sadness. She almost seems human when she does that. Looking more closely at her, I I'm struck all over by just how strange she is. I haven't really thought about it lately since I've been struggling to survive, but... How did she come into an existence? Hey, Mary. Were you made by Saya Kujo? No. I have served the Kujo family since before Lady Saya was born. I was already here at the mansion when I opened my eyes the first time. They say tools used for many years can come to house deities or souls. I may be something similar. Somehow I'm thinking that doll will turn evil at the end. Well, Pixel, that's kind of part of my theory. But we'll see exactly. Joanna's not making it any better. So you're like a Cujo guardian deity? That is an exaggeration, though I would be very pleased if I could achieve such a status. Lady Saya's fate was most unfortunate. I do not remember saying that quote, but okay then. I will do my utmost to respect her wish to save all who bear the mark. Her clear green eyes stare at me. 
Lord Yoshiki, thanks to you, many mark bearers have been saved. I am sure that Lady Sai will be extremely grateful to you. I very much feel the same way. Her voice is emotionless, but it sounds just a bit softer than usual. Her face can't show it, but it feels like she's trying to express her gratitude. Now, Lord Yoshiki, it seems a new mark bearer has made their way to the mansion. I hope you can find some clues to the spirit that gave you your mark. Before she can even finish her sentence, there's a knock at the front door. Oh, look at her! Alrighty then, she seems bubbly already. A girl bounces in wearing a fancy outfit. I blink dumbfoundedly at her appearance. Nice to meet you. Good morning. It's the middle of the night. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm used to saying it as a greeting. Um, so Dr. Kuja lives here, right? Madam uh, Yasuka told me to come here. Is Dr. Sai around? Madam Yasuko? Wait. Yasuka? How do you say that? Yep, no clue who that is. Sorry, but Sayakujo isn't here. Oh, it's four syllables. syllables. Yasuoka. 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 Okay. I'm... Oh, wait. I'm Kazuyashiki. Kazuo Yashiki. I came here... I, I guess you can say I'm representing her right now. Are you here about the scar? I can help. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. It's actually called the Mark, right? If you get it, your memories become a mess and you die soon after. That's what Madam um, Yasu Yasuoka said. Well, color me surprised. I didn't think anyone besides uh, Sayakuja knew about the Mark. But this girl, she knows what will happen to her, but for some reason she doesn't look depressed at all. Aren't you scared? Yeah, I'm terrified! I'm being... Uh, but being a scaredy cat's embarrassing. I want to hurry and fix this whole marked thing for my fans, too. I'm a pro, and forgetting the lyrics up on stage is a definite no-go. Oh, she's an idol, it looks like? Um, some Meekin vibes again. <laughs> I think I know what line of work she's in. She's... An idol. Are you an idol or something? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm I Kashiwaga. Kashiwagi, I should say. I sing, dance, perform as a member of Love and Hero. Oh, hey, we heard we heard been Love and Hero for a while. Uh, you know, Ita is a fan of yours, apparently. Oh, so that's your stage costume? Yeah, cool, right? I headed here straight after filming finished. If I'd gone to my dressing room, my manager would have found me. The taxi driver started uh, stared at my outfit the whole way here. Giggling, she removes her jacket and bares her shoulder. A familiar mark glares bright from her skin. I'm stuck wearing sleeves right now because of this thing. And it's gonna be summer soon. It seems as though this person is indeed a mark bearer. What? what? Who's there? Eyes, eyes, eyes bug out comically wide when she hears, hears a female voice out of nowhere. She may, she may know about the mark, but it doesn't look like she knows about Mary. Mary updates I about everything so far. She starts with Sayakujo's tragic death and recounts our encounters with the spirits. I seem surprised to hear Kujo is dead, but she does admirably well in her attempt to swallow this string of unusual events. Now, Lady I, do you have any idea as to where you received your mark? Um, probably when we filmed the mystery spots. I don't think I had this scar until after we finished up filming. I feel like I should ask her for more in details about this mystery spot tour. Uh, yeah. Uh, what kind of show was it? A summer ghost story special. During the shoot, our guest star, Madam uh, Yasuoka, and I got this weirdly shaped scar. The minute she saw it, Madam y Yasuoka told me it was called a mark. So where's... 
Where's the other lady then? So I wasn't the only one who got this. This Yasuo Yasaoka. Yasuoka also got the mark. Is this person not coming here then? Oh, I guess I forgot to say. Um, Madam Yasuoka is on her way too. She'll be just a little late. Uh, she's stopping by her shop in uh, um, Giza, uh, Giza? Or Giza, nothing Giza. Uh, before heading here. What should I ask her next? So, where'd you go? We went around to three mystery spots that were rumored to be haunted. One was an old tunnel in O City. Um, there's O stuff now? Another was a railroad crossing in T City, where a lot of accidents happen. The last was a back street in H City. Sure enough, H City was one of the places. And I'm assuming it's probably the manhole road. So, when did you notice it? Hmm. We were rushing every everywhere because we were pressed for time that day. It just was suddenly there. Oh, that's not much help. I think that's all I'll get from her. You mentioned a street in H City, but where exactly was it? Oh, um. Ah, just a sec. I try to look into her name, but unless you can connect love and oak tree, somehow it doesn't mean much. The devs are too bit too lazy to find proper names or what. I digs her cell phone out of her bag and flips it open. A flip phone? Jeez. I'm pretty sure it was in the email my manager sent me. Oh, there it is. Um it was K Maya Mayamachi North Road. Manhole Road. It was a pretty weird place. A ton of manholes were all over. K Miyamachi North Road. The file in the garage said a, wooden, a woman holding a Buddha statue was seen there. Is this just a coincidence, or...? Hey, you're kind of frowning. Is something wrong? No, Joanne, it's okay. I'm... I'm... It was all just... It was just in good fun. It was just a joke, so... Don't worry about it. Oh, no, no, no. It's just... It seems we have determined where you must go tonight. Please head directly to K. Miyamachi North Road, Lord Yashiki. There may be a spirit chase there. That's not the only thing I might find. Though, there may be a clue about who stole the Buddha statues from H Shrine, too. And of course, I'll come within. I'll come with. Our group is a song that goes like this. I'm not the one to sit around and wait. I'll blast through those evil traps standing in my way with all my might. Yeah, that's how you sing, guys. Um, okay. Sounds like Love and Hero specializes in a motivational type of song. Anyway, she seems willing enough, so I'll, I'll let her help. Yay! Well, we'll definitely be doing that all in the next, uh... The next stream. I mean, I could keep going, but I'm content with having a chapter a day. So, before we do anything, we'll just, uh, well, she's already selected, so let's learn more a little bit about her. Did she bring, oopsie daisy, no, no, no. Did she bring anything with? No, she did not. And, uh, let's hear a little bit more about I. A star member of the current popular idol group, Love and Hero. Her sense of justice is strong, and she despises anything that's twisted. She's an accomplished pianist who's skilled enough to sing and play simultaneously. Hmm. Okay, then. There's that. Good talk. It seems Lady I got her mark on K. Miyamashi North Road. I do not know what spirit cursed her, but there may be traces of it there. Would you try investigating? By the way, Mary, do you know anyone named uh, Yasuoka? She was supposedly in contact with Saya Kujo. No, I do not know that name. I do not have full knowledge of Lady Saya's circle of friends. But if it had to do with the mark, shouldn't sh shouldn't she wait? But if it had to do with the mark, shouldn't she have brought it up with you? I am sure that Lady Saya had a good reason not to mention it. 
It is impossible to know to know now. Well, she's not wrong, I guess. Alrighty, well, that was a lot of fun. So, and it, it was an easy chapter. But was I still overthinking things? Of course. Will I keep overthinking things? Of course. Um, but that's part of my charm or my idioticness. That depends who the hell you're asking. Oopsie daisy. So, before we end this, well, actually, we finished this, but we're going to take a look at the alternate ending of what happens if we choose wrong um, with, what's her name? With Hanayome. So, I'm aiming the to stream tomorrow. I apologize if I don't or anything. Oh, I, I, I most likely will stream tomorrow, but I'm, I might, it might be a little later in the day. I have a little phone interview thing, Majiggy, I gotta do. So, there's that. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and find what I'm looking for. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, nope, nope. Don't need this. <clears throat> Death Mark Chapter 3 Ending. There we go. And let me share it with you guys. Display. Ah, uh, Inception. All right. Up. Oh. Oh, that's not good. We're, we're taking... They took Christy there, and then they went back to... Which one is this? This is the one from the highway. I know exactly who's calling. Ugh. I mean, it's it's nasty looking, but I, just, I wish they just... If they kept it like that, it would have been perfect. The face reveal was like, uh... But I get why it was like that, so... Oops. So, oops, nope. That song was finished. Oh, I didn't even know he was actually playing it. I must, I must not even hold that. Oh, and yeah, then that's it. Okay, so yeah, it, as Svitten mentioned, depends on where you go. I blink and the spirit is gone. Looks like we made it through. I bet their mark's gone. Mine's still bright on my arm. Da -da -da. If Honey was really the ghost, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I hope her fiance's song for her helps her be at peace in heaven. We all know that's not the case. What happened here? Shall we have that head out soon? Yeah. Huh? The phone starts ringing out of nowhere. Oh, that's right, because she, she apologized for her actions when we did it right. What the hell is she going to do here? My mark stings with pain. Yeah, that definitely didn't happen. What, what is... Christy collapses, covering their, their eyes. Huh? Hey, what's wrong? My eyes hurt! The telephone is doing it. Stop it right now! Hurry, damn it! I grab the phone and hear a woman breathing. Immediately, I try to hang up, but... My arm won't move. You saw it. You saw it. You saw your round little eyes. Well, bad little eyes get eaten. Ew. 
Christie's terrifying scream echoes from both the phone and outside the booth. Ew, there are noises coming from the phone. Like someone's stuffing their cheeks with gum. Blech. <clears throat> their phone goes dead. I can move freely again. I bolt out of the booth. The ride near where Christy had collapsed is a single bloody eyeball staring at me. I searched the entire area around the parking lot, but I can't find Christy anywhere. Maybe deep down, I'm actually scared of finding them. Of finding the mutilated corpse missing an eyeball. And that, as they say, is that. Um, yeah, that, I'm not even going to bother watching all the other ones. I would feel bad if that happened to Suzo. Thank God I did this correctly. But, uh, whoopsie daisy. Okay. Well, that was a pretty easy chapter. I still like the story uh, that it was telling. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm still over overall enjoying the story of Deathmark. It's intriguing to me. I just hope I don't come into any any more BS moving forward. So, ha! Huh. Who says that charm and idiocy don't have to be mutually exclusive? I mean, look at me. <laughs> uh you can't be here tomorrow, Sally. Working? That's okay, Pixel. That's quite all right. Though I'll have the vods up and everything, so. I mean, I, I can't stream. Not, not everybody can be available when I'm available, so just simple as that. So that that was pretty gross. I, is it bad that it just gets no reaction from me? I hope it isn't. No, Justin, not at all. I mean, because it depends on what we're used to. Not to say you're not to say anybody's desensi desensitized to any of this, um, because even even for me, a lot of this stuff. I mean. Yeah, it's creepy. It's kind of creepy. Um, but I think what's doing it for me, like why I'm not like, like, oh, I'm fine, is because there's still images. I would imagine if, if it was actually moving, like actual cinematic cutscenes and all that, I would, ha I would hate it a lot more. Uh, or it would, it would get to me a lot more. But I think because it's a picture, I think I'm okay. The, the the designs are great. I mean, with her staring into the phone box, that was cool as hell. Revealing the face, not so much. But not to make fun of her, just she said, don't look, don't look, and that's that. If it's happening to real people, that's where it gets me. Of course, I would imagine all of us would be the same, so... That is that. So yeah, tomorrow, I'm thinking tomorrow anyway, uh, chapter four. And what was I going to say? As I mentioned, it might be a little bit later in the day, just by a little bit, because I have something to do earlier. And I'm going to try finishing chapter four as well.